The 77th edition of Dwar Doors Vlaanderen, 183.7 kilometres for the race sandwich between Ghent Webbergen and the Tour of Flanders, and a real classic in its own right. Most of the route for this edition of the race taking place in the lumpy Flemish Ardennes, with eight sectors of cobbles or Cassian on the menu and 11 categorised climbs, otherwise known as the Hellingen, starting in Roslera and finishing in Wadegem with a small finishing circuit that will ultimately determine this beautiful warm-up race for the Tour of Flanders, giving us an insight into who will perform in Deronda. So a lumpy parkour, a slightly shorter distance, 183.7 k's, but an early break soon went clear, including Alexander Kristoff of Uno X Pro Cycling and Movistar's Oya Lazcano. The team behind that were doing a lot of the chasing were Trek Segafredo, a staccato style slowing down on the climbs and then opening things up in the crosswind sections with about 83 k's to go. The break enjoyed a lead of around two and three quarter minutes as we headed into the dense section of multiple climbs. Julian Adelphilippe accelerated for Sudel Quickstep on the lower slopes of one of these climbs. He unchipped his chain and unfortunately for Tim Merdlier, he crashed and was taken out of the race. Meanwhile, Tish Benut was on the offensive for Jumbo Visma, trying to form a counter-attacking group and eventually drew the sting of Quentin Hermans and also from the United States of America, Nilsson Paulus, who was really in flying form. This group eventually coalesced to have 10 chases in between the bedraggled peloton, which was constantly being reduced. 31 k to go, and we only had a couple of riders out in front. Tim Villans had missed the second group on the road. UET Emirates not represented in that group. He tried in vain to go clear, but meanwhile there were two riders out in front. From Movistar, Oya Lazcano, the 23-year-old, and the veteran Alexander Kristoff of Uno X Pro Cycling. They were eventually caught with only just under six kilometres to go. It was a brave, brave performance. Meanwhile, Sudal Quickstep, who'd missed that move out in front, were trying to bring things back. Mikel Onore tried a move but was closely flanked by Tish Benut, one of two members of Jumbo Visma in that group. Christophe Laporte also there. Jonathan Navaya is there from the Ineos Grenadiers as well. Valentin Madua there in the navy blue of FDJ. Then there was an attack on the left-hand side. Biding his time, it was Christophe Laporte, already a winner in Gaint Wilbergen. And remember, Jumbo Visma had won every single Cobble Classic. Het Newsblad, E3, Gaint Wilbergen and it looked as if they were going to take victory in Dwar's door Vlaanderen. There was a late counter-attack by Nielsen Palace and a very brave move by Oya Lazcano, the Spaniard, who'd been away all day. They were fighting gamely for a place on the podium, but coming into the final kilometre, Christophe Laporte, in imperious form, looked set fair to take another victory. Back-to-back -back victories for the Frenchman, and what a show of strength and style. Panache and verve. Jumbo Visma, absolutely unstoppable. Two wins from two and five wins from five for Jumbo Visma. An important solo win there for Christophe Laporte. It was an absolute nail biter, a thriller for the next two steps on the podium. Eventually, it was the Spaniard. Smile with delight as he crossed the line. Lascano in second place. Third place went there to Nielsen Paulus. It was congratulations all round for the Frenchman and an impeccable season so far for the all-conquering Jumbo Visma team. And there was the moment. They wrote history, Jumbo Visma, five wins from five, which augurs well ahead of Deronda. So, Christophe Laporte took the win ahead of Oya Lascano Lopez of Movistar, Nilsson Paulus rounding out the podium. Then we have Jesper Philipsen, Mads Pedersen, Arnaud Dili, David Ballerini, André Pasqualon, Oliver Legac, and Nils Pollitt. So Laporte adding Another cobble classic to his Palmares, ahead of a delighted Lascano and an inform Nilsson Paulus. I hope that whetted the appetite ahead of the Ronda on Sunday.